uh, still on the election, um, it, it was a shocker that you won Lagos. And uh, not one, uh, at least I've heard two members of your party say that uh, the votes that went to the Labour Party from Lagos during the presidential election actually was about 900,000. And I'm just wondering how believable that is, you know, if um, the accredited number of accredited voters is 1.347 million. And, uh, you know, what uh, went to the presidential candidate of the APC, who, by the way, is also very popular in Lagos, is 572,606 votes. How possible it, is it that uh, you would have secured about 900,000 votes in Lagos? So what would have gone to the presidential candidate of the APC? I can assure you that um, the position announced by NEC is false. It's not wrong. I don't know exactly what it would have been. But I can say. But, but you, have your, vote, you have your results. Our votes are far more than that. These are not issue of context, which I don't intend to say there, but our figures are far more than that. Because the matter is in court. And yeah. it's matter is in court. So I leave it at that. What did we do? Because we campaigned and told the people three things. And we, remember, my watchword is go and verify whatever I'm telling you. You can only draw from the past. We campaigned, told the people the truth, nothing but the truth. And they know that from our past, what we're promising, we're going to do. We wanted to build a new Nigeria where this Lagos will be a place and a financial center, not just for Africa, but come probably the Middle East. We will be a place that we will use to drive the change of Africa in terms of finance. And I'm part of that world. And the same thing is what we have done all over Nigeria. Because we have, the North would have been something where you have engine of pulling people out of poverty due to massive agricultural production that will lead to industry, that will lead to export. The East would have been a place, you can say, also of industries I mentioned, exporting also products, again, to the port called Aquai Bomb, Warriors, and you're doing the same thing here in Lagos. This, this country is, can be turned around as quickly as possible. Hello everyone and welcome to Ninja Situation Report. High neck light, I won the election, go and verify. These are the words of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Hobi, when he was interviewed on China's television news. He said, uh, I neck light and the result published is false. He further said he won the 2023 presidential election that was held on the 25th of February 2023 and is calling on people to go and verify as he has always said. He also said that all he's looking for is a nation, a country that works, a country where things work and people don't need to struggle. He also said that the matter is in court and is optimistic that the results of the court proceedings are going to favor him. I also, uh, we are going to look at Reno O'Comry. Reno O'Comry uh, also have uh, a shaking the table, and here are some of his words. But if you don't know Reno O'Comry, is a gospeler. Uh, he's one of the free Leah uh, Sharibu activists. He's also a party mentor. He's number one best-selling author and a business insider influencer in 2022 Hollywood Film Festival awardee, and he's a globe trader. And he has shaking the table once again. And here are his words. He said, "Bola Tinubu is a known drug lord, but he never campaigned in the mosque. Nobody ever signed this uh, on your mandate. We shall stand song at the mosque. The major." person who campaigned in places of worship is Peter Obi and High Neck must sanction him or it will happen again. A lot of people have commented saying he is worried, saying he does not know what he's saying, saying that Peter Obi is giving him sleepless nights. Lots of uh, uh, results and lots of comments has been said unto him. Moving on from there we have DJ Kobe. Uh, DJ Kobe 
which is also uh, which is actual name is Florence Ifeoluwa or Tedola, professionally known as DJ Kobe or simply called Kobe, is a Nigerian disc jockey, DJ, and producer. She is the daughter of Nigerian businessman uh, Femi Tedola. She grew up in Lagos and moved to London at the age of 13. And DJ Kobe has just tweeted. He said, third degree halter. I'm now officially a master of science from Oxford University. And a lot of congratulatory messages have been sent to her, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. What do you think about this? These and many more are the situation reports we send on this channel. Click the subscribe button, click the like button, and uh, we'll bring you more of this. I'm saying goodbye and have a nice day.